Well, I think what happens when you age into the Prime Minister, he obviously can't get to the constituency as much as he used to. I always say when he first came, it was every week, when, when he was an ordinary MP. Then he became a uh, shadow minister, it was once every two weeks. Then he became leader of the party, it was once every three weeks. And now he's Prime Minister, it's about once every four or five weeks, which is still quite good. But, of course, it means that I've been left to to really be the constituency MP. Tony said, I'm the constituency MP. And, and he do, he's running the country down there and I look after this end. But it's been, it's been enthralling, really. We've had Bush, we've had Chirac, we've had Bertie Ahern, we've had Jospin. All very different. I remember Jospin standing with Tony uh, and all the world, the, the Europe's press and television on the lawn. Jospin was taking questions in French and answering them in English. Tony was taking questions in English and answering them in French. And I thought, this is the new generation of politician. It was really one of the funniest uh, incidents, really, with Tony. Because, he, I mean, he speaks excellent French. He worked in France, as, you know, as a, as a student. Um, but he wanted to say to Jospin that um, he envied him, his position, because he was good with the trade union and the left. And so yeah, he said this, and then later on, Just Man was laughing, and he said, uh, "You do? Do you realise what what you said?" He said, "You made a very slight slip." He said, "And it's easily done," but he said, "You actually said you desire me in many different positions." <laughs> Absolute hoot! But Bertie and and uh, everybody else has, they've just come to the house and George, and we we eventually went to the Duncow for fish and chips with the American president. And uh, mushy peas. <laughs>